Right, I think that's recording. So today is day four um, of the recovery videos I'll do from my shoulder surgery. Um, yesterday I did the first video, which was day three. <clears throat> and if you've watched that one, at the time I was uh, suffering from not only the effects of the pain in my shoulder, but from the uh, tramadol and the severadol, both of which um, after about an hour after taking them, there's a period where I'm quite spaced out. Um, so there's, uh, the first hour, doesn't nothing really happens, and then an hour where it's... Mm. Facebook. And, um, and then about two hours of, of good pain relief after that. So, yeah, the first video was, was pretty shocking because I was spaced out at the time. So um, a bit of context on the injury and the surgery which was missing from that first video um, while playing cricket at a school picnic um, Facebook. in dress shoes, work shoes that offer no traction. I went to make a diving catch and so rather than doing this kind of thing I basically went straight down and landed on the um, greater tuberosity of uh, my left humerus and fractured um, that off. Um, it wasn't off, either off or um, open. <clears throat> and so that was about four weeks ago. Um, I also suffered a fracture at the neck just below the ball of the humerus. <clears throat> and initially the surgeon recommended surgery and I was a little bit apprehensive, um, never having had surgery before, never really having been in the hospital. Um, <clears throat> so after that initial consult, he's like, okay, well, we'll err on the side of caution, but after talking to friends and family for a couple of days, I decided that to, to go with the surgery and then spent two weeks trying to chase the surgeon um, on on that decision. But um, stuck to the time frame of the, the two week period until I was due to speak to him next. And um, yep, so arranged the surgery for about one week after that. So that was Tuesday this week. <clears throat> um, surgery went flawlessly. Um, I might do a separate video specifically about general anesthetic, though there's not, not much to it. That was probably my biggest worry, never having been under a GA. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, but yeah, that all went fine. Everybody in the hospital commented how well the surgery went. Um, they did a nerve block um, for the surgery, and so for... Um, the first few hours after surgery, all I had was pins and needles down this arm, no movement at all, no feeling. And I was initially a little bit scared by that, but, um, about eight or so hours after surgery, I got the first movement and feeling back in my arm. So I was quite pleased by that. And, um, then what happened after that was the, the pain came, as I mentioned in the other videos on a couple of, um, <clears throat> sessions of, of morphine, mercifully. So um, today compared to yesterday, um, night before last, sleep was bad. Uh, I basically get about two hours sleep before waking up, take some pain um, killers of some sort, and then try and get back to sleep. So it's kind of two hours awake, two hours of sleep, and that's been pretty solid over the past couple of days. <clears throat> Um, but today's been, today's been okay. Um, you know, I can, I can, well, that's not the, you know, this kind of movement with assistance isn't too bad. Um, and, you know, to demonstrate with the other arm, you know, the, the, they recommend kind of a pendulum hanging kind of, um, motion just to stop it from freezing up. Yesterday, this was really stiff and frozen in there. Um, today that's not quite so stiff, but... One thing I'll definitely say about the progress with this thing is it's it's up and down. It's it's not just slowly getting better. It'll be better for a while, and then it'll go down. The pain will return. <clears throat> um, and so it's kind of a combination of a little bit of stretching, how I sleep, um, and how I man manage the pain with um, medication. But yeah, today's a, a much better day than, than yesterday. Yesterday really mm -hmm. I got interrupted there. Um, so yeah, yeah. yesterday sucked. Today's been not, been not too bad. Um, I mean, a similar night's sleep, but I felt a little more rested. My fitness tracker is tracking my sleep, 
And so last night I got five hours sleep kind of across three or four clumps. Um, but one thing I got this morning um, was one solid hour of sleep and I woke up feeling really good. So right now I'm doing well. Um, I'm sure as the day goes on, I'll get tired and kind of wane again. But yeah, um, progress will be slow. Just looking forward to kind of being able to exercise it a little bit. I've got um, a consult about the stitches in in about 10 days or so. Um, and then I'm due to see my surgeon again in, in about f um, three to four weeks. And um, physio is, is apparently due to start then. And I plan to try and transition into work um, in a few weeks, just go in for a few hours. No, you know, I mean, I've been typing one-handed uh, after the injury, and that's just frustrating. But even just being able to attend a meeting, just be able there and give my opinion on things, people aren't waiting on me quite so much. So, yep, much better day today. Um, hopefully tomorrow's even a little bit better, and that's progress for you. So I'll talk to you later.